Once you get your fill of TV, you might think, time to turn to a book. And while taking a trip to your local library isn't an option right now, a virtual visit is still an option. We've got Wicomico Public Library Marketing and Communications Manager Sam Gibson joining us via Zoom today. How are you doing, Sam? I'm doing well. Thank you for having us. Yeah, I'm excited. So tell us a little bit about the online resources folks have available. So even though our doors are closed, um, these are services that we've always had. These are our digital and online resources where people can either get audiobooks, ebooks, movies, classes. Um, we have Muzzy, which is a language resource where you can learn another language. We have um, Ancestry.com Library Edition where you can study up and research your family's roots. Yeah, so who can access these? So basically, every Wicomico resident potentially access these library resources. Um, if you have a library card, you're set to go. You just go to our website and log in through the digital resources. If you're a Wicomico County uh, student, you from grades 1 to 12, you have a virtual library card, which is basically just the initials WCPS and your lunch number, and you can access the digital resources. And if you don't have a, a library card or you're not a student, you can go to our website and sign up for a temporary card that's good for 60 days and that will give you access. I love that. Is, is this something a lot of people know about? Um, well, we try to get the word out through social media and we appreciate you having us on today because the more we can get the word out, I think this is a great resource for while people are you know stuck at home to access a plethora of things for either learning, having fun, or you know, just getting a book and listening to it or reading it. T tell me a little bit more about those learning resources that are available, because I think those are so, so we fascinating. We have one that's called Gale Courses, and um, it's pretty much covers everything from kindergarten to adult to test prep, and um, it it can either take you through a class or help you curtail a curriculum for like in-home learning. That is so cool, and you also were firing out a spring reading challenge. Yeah, so that's still going on. People can go to our library website and click the banner at the top for Beanstack, and you can go there. They'll make reservation. They'll make recommendations for you. You can log the books that you read, and at the end, there will be a prize drawing for the winner. Now, I love a good audiobook. Do you have those available as well? Yes, we do. Um, so through Overdrive and Libby, which is our, our digital library, you can get audiobooks. And then also Hoopla, you can get digital audiobooks too. Now, any book recommendations you guys have? Well, um, you when you go through Beanstack, uh, Libby, or Hoopla, or Overdrive, you, they'll make recommendations when you log in. But if you also go to our Facebook page, we currently have a thing of what we're reading, where all of our staff members are sending us pictures of their pets and the books that they're reading. So you can get some nice recommendations there. Well, I'm so thankful that you guys have all that available, and I hope people can, you know, learn all about that and really take advantage of it. Thank you so much. Sam Gibson, thank you so much for joining us today, and hopefully people can now read right on.